Hey guys, welcome to Chamonix. We are going to be here for a few days and we're going to show you everything there is to do in terms of skiing, but also for pedestrians, some activities like the Aiguille du Midi and we are going to see a glacier. Lots of activities in Chamonix. It is beautiful. So let's get into it. All right, guys. So we are driving to Chamonix, which is actually in the French Alps. It is just about an hour from Geneva. So if you have a car, it's a really quick and easy drive. It's actually closer than a lot of parts of the Alps in Switzerland from Geneva. If you don't have a car no worries we actually saw that there are buses that leave from the train station and the airport really regularly so a lot of ways to get here but let's continue the drive and we will show you when we get there so we park at the parking lots of space and now we're going to take the gondola up so we parked the car in the Brevon parking lot there was plenty of space then we're taking the gondola up to the intermediate station the view is amazing, might be a little bit too much sun on the Mont Blanc, the Aiguille du Midi. It's just incredible, this, uh, this ski resort. And so we're going to ski first in the intermediate station and then we'll explore and uh, ski a bit more. Let's go. I am loving it. The views are amazing, actually. It feels a little bit like uh, Zermatt was these amazing uh, mountains all around. I just love it. Yeah, you have these views on the Aiguille du Midi du Mont Blanc, over there the Mont Blanc. A lot just stunning, a little bit when in Zermatt you have the views of the Matterhorn. Everywhere you go, this is what you get and this is just incredible. Skiing in that area and this is just amazing for the views on the Mont Blanc, the big mountain over there and the Aiguille du Midi and it's just yeah you ski and you have these views all over and it's uh, just beautiful so I can do that all day easily. <laughs> I don't know if it's giving the same effect in video but you have like I don't know if it's no particles or whatever with, with the sun it's just incredible it feels like it's sparkles in the sky. And you have the Mont Blanc here, that flat one, the Aiguille du Midi, and lots of other amazing mountains. So we're gonna have a little lunch with some cheese and meats from the region, and we have a view, so cheers. take a train that's gonna go over there and then go see the glacier la mer de glace here you go you can get tickets here what i had to ski was the one day unlimited at two for 76 euros and the round trip is just 37 euros and you have also the ice cave included so exciting let's go see a glacier you have actually an amazing view on the glacier which is really cool you can also and this is really fun you have the Grotte de Glace that's an ice cave you have to take a little mini gondola down this is fine with the shoulder but then there's 500 steps down and then up so we are going to pass on this but we'll put some footage and uh, yeah you have the view you have a panorama bar and you have your uh, hotel so let's uh, go around <laughs> So you can see actually this is a whole glacier. You can do it actually in the summer also if you are here in the summer with Chamonix. And uh, it's always really nice to see glaciers. And you're not going too far up, it's 2000 meters here, but uh, it's fun. And you can see here the gondola that goes to the Mer de Glace. So you go down and then you have the whole thing inside you. We can see kind of the entrance over there. 
So this is to go to the Grotte de Glace. So you go down. So it's a fun activity <laughs> to go see like uh, ice, etc. But we have a stroller and so <laughs> I think I'm not gonna do it. And so this is the Glassorium. I must admit that I have no idea what it is. So I'm going to discover with you. So it looks like it's an educational exhibit about glaciers. Love that. And it's free. So this was actually very cool. You can take like 15 minutes and learn about glacier, about like how the glaciers can tell us so much about history of our earth and uh, the climate. And then you can get out and have a casual, incredible view like this. Right, let's go back to the train. You're like a circle that floats around me. Keeping me safe and sound. And so you have some shuttles from and to Chamonix and to the other places uh, in the region to go to Les Ouches. And so we are going to ski here, different scenery. There's a lot of places to ski here, so let's go skiing. All right, so we are on top of the Parion. You see a whole different valley actually over there. So it's, uh, it's fun to see different views. Let's have fun. Really beautiful actually to be in the zoo because you are actually on the tree line, which makes it cute. Woo. a little bit closer to the Mont Blanc and so this is the mountain beautiful mountain that you see here the Mont Blanc and then you have the Aiguille du Midi over there and the valley of Chamonix and you have here and there some bars and uh, restaurants where you can have a drink or have lunch on the slope there's a view oh, amazing so we've skied the whole morning in Les Ouches and it was really cool. You have different places uh, and different parts of the mountain and you see lots of different landscapes. You have for uh, all the different difficulties, you have blacks, reds, blues. And uh, yeah, I just loved actually being close to the trees all over and you just go in the forest and that makes the, the runs so beautiful. So I'm gonna continue and finishing in, in here, but uh, I definitely recommend Les Ouches. Bye guys. And here we are, back at the Parion, bottom of the mountain. That was really a blast. As I said before, I really liked uh, Les Ouches and I uh, would recommend it to everyone. And it's also easy to get to by bus. You can see that these buses are going back to Chamonix. So this is easy to get to, like in 15 minutes you are here. So we are going for lunch at La Maison Carrier which is a slightly upper scale restaurant that is really cute inside. You have a very cute de decoration. Like, love the, the details in here. There's a nice little fire even that is smoking some meat. And yeah, look at the that cute, uh, cute dining room. Chef Buffet, Gros Blochon, Bleu Trenval, Bleu Jex, Michel Neva Chaudière, Beaufort, Abondance, Tom de Chef, Tom de Poilouze, Tamier et Tom de Savoie. So you can actually, as a dessert, either have the cheese cones, which was beautiful, 
and otherwise you have a whole section of desserts where you can help yourself. I'm going to show you this in this game to be amazing, but here are the cheeses all from the region and they're actually really delicious. Or looks delicious. <laughs> but... So we have Il Flottante, we have a flan, a blueberry tart, Myrti, which is very classic from the region, a lemon tart here, and a tarte tatin. And we'll see how our stomachs are handle it. So you can also just walk around Chamonix. This is really, <laughs> she wants to go. This is really beautiful and picturesque everywhere outside of Chamonix. So we're just walking around and having fun. Yeah. And, uh, the nice thing about walking in Chamonix is that you're going to have mountain views kind of everywhere you go, which add to uh, the experience a hundred times kind of. And so at the end of all these pedestrian streets, you have the train station there. which is 3,800 meters above sea level. It is really easy to access from Chamonix and there's a pass with your ski ticket that's all in one. So that's what we did. When you are up here, it is extremely cold and a little bit hard to breathe. So take your time and dress really warmly, but there is so much to explore up here. We're having such a good time. My one tip is try to come on a sunny day because if it's cloudy, you're not gonna see much, but check out this view and let's go see what we have to explore. so much for watching this video we hope you enjoyed Chamonix it's not in Switzerland but it's not too far away so it's an easy add-on to a trip as always if you made it this far please make sure to like and subscribe if you want to support us virtually you can do so at the link here and if you need help planning a trip one-on-one -on -one, we offer travel consultations just check out this link below I'll catch you guys in the next one bye hey guys thanks for watching thanks for watching if you want to see more videos like this please make sure to like and subscribe we'll see you soon